story, I un as I understand it, is that his parents were from Ireland, that the whole Grant family there was from Ireland, and that they were having a potato famine. They were probably starving to death. Starving to death. And so they left Ireland, as did many people and during that time, and they came over here. They went, the Grants went to Nova Scotia. Right. And uh, I was told that James was mad because he didn't want to go to Nova Scotia. He didn't want to leave Ireland. I'll be darned. And so he was mad. And uh, in Nova Scotia, he didn't ha he didn't know any he didn't have any buddies or boys to play with. Didn't know anybody. And so he would hang around the docks and the boats. And he learned about sailing and right boats and so forth. And he also was befriended or did befriend some sailors off of that boat. And they told him that that boat was headed to Mexico. Right. So he just decided, well, he would, he didn't like Nova Scotia. He didn't have any friends there. He would just run away and he would go to Mexico. Right. So the, the sailor friends hit him, fixed him a place down in the hole of the ship. And he hid out down there and <laughs> off this boat took for Mexico. And he said that he knew that this, his friends told him that they had docked at New Orleans and had left there. And then he knew that they landed in Galveston and that they were leaving there. And so when it got under, when that boat had been under sail for several days, he came out from his hiding hole thinking that they were off the coast of Mexico. But they weren't. They were off of Padre Island. And so they, the ship put to land and put him out at Port Aransas. They put him out there because they figured he, it, he'd be better off there than in Mexico. Well, they'd be better off there because they were English speaking. In Mexico, they would speak Spanish, and he didn't speak Spanish. Right. So they put him off at Port Aransas, and there he continued to hang around the docks. And um, he learned about where the sandbars, and in these Murphy Gibbons articles, you'll hear about the sandbars and this much, how much trouble they had getting from Port Aransas through into. Port of Corpus Christi. So he was pretty valuable to, to guide the ships in. Yes. And so, and I'm sure he signed on as deckhand to make money. Right. And uh, so he sailed up to New Orleans and back to Port Aransas a number of times as, as deckhand. And uh, they, um, that's where he was supposed to have met Mary was on some of his trips. That's where he probably learned how to become a sailor, sailing back and forth to New Orleans. Uh -huh. And I don't think in that time they used the intercoastal canal like they do now, and so they probably sailed across the Gulf of Mexico. Right. Up there. So um, he met Ma Mary and uh, got took got Mary out of the convent. And uh, Now Mary's story was that her parents... Her parents were for also from Ireland, but her father had a business in London, and that... Uh, his business needed for him to go to New Orleans to take care of some things. And so he took his wife and daughter with him to New Orleans. And there, Mr. and Mrs. Hayer got yellow fever and died. Wow. And when they became ill, they put Mary in a convent so that the nuns could continue to look after her. And um, so that's where James met her. She was probably in the convent then. Right. And. Uh, so he got her out of the convent and probably got her aboard his ship, got her halfway to Texas before the nuns knew she was gone. And they came down to Port Aransas and they lived on the island and they walked up and down the island herding livestock, goats and, and cattle. <clears throat> and I I'm, and I'm think of James is wanting to go down to, to Mexico and they would, the island would go as far as Brownsville. So that and they had a Catholic church there and um, being from Ireland and having put her in a convent I felt sure that Mary's family was Irish, was Catholic I'm sure they were and so that she wanted to go in there to baptize the baby 